Hey guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today we're going to have a look at the uh, Royal Australian Mint website and the reason why we're doing that is because we specifically want to look at the mintages and how do we find the mintages for the coins that are in circulation and for the coins that uh, uh, are not intended for circulation. Uh, so the special coins and those kind of things. Um, so basically, uh, this is the uh, Royal Australian Mint website uh, on the screen as it is right now. Um, but how do we find the mintages? Okay, so let's do a Google search. So here I have uh, typed in RAM mintages, so Royal Australian Mint uh, mintages, and uh, up came some results as we can see here. So if we click on one of these, which is probably the easiest way to do it is from the uh, from Google, and uh, we can see there we click on uh, the $1 mintages, and up comes all the information relating to each of the years, each of the coins that are found in circulation, along with the, uh, the mintage of each of those uh, designs. And uh, as we can go through there, all the way from 1984, through to uh, some of these mintages here that have some asterisks next to them and some of them are not available as of yet. Uh, so we can see there that these asterisk versions are, and I'll explain why, um, they are half yearly reported figures. We'll get back into that in a moment. So uh, we'll go back up the top here and uh, you can see along the side here, there are the mintages for each of the uh, coins uh, from the one cent through to the $2 coin. All these coins on these lists are purely ones that were put into circulation. Uh, but how do you find the coins that are, um, that are not on these lists? So ones that are specialty coins uh, that uh, are commemorative coins and uh, coins that uh, were produced by the mint for collectors um, that have special mint marks and those kind of things. So the easiest way to find that sort of information, which is still not easy, but uh, you will have to do some calculations in some regards. But if you do another Google search and you type in Royal Australian Mint, so RAM annual report, as I've done there, and you'll see that the uh, annual reports comes up as an item here. So we click on that, and uh, they've got annual reports here uh, going back uh, to the year 2000. So today, um, well, there is another way to actually find this annual report list as well. I may as well show you that as well. Uh, okay, so... So you can't see it on the screen, but uh, you just have to believe me. Above my uh, cursor here is a section about the mint. So if I click on that, up comes the about the mint section. And you need to go to compliance. It's not the easiest thing to find, but then you'll see annual reports. And that will take you to where we were before. So certainly easier to find this report by doing a uh, Google search. Uh, rather than um, finding your way through the actual website. So, uh, what do we got here? So, if we go back to this page here. So, now we're going to open up the 2015-2016 annual report as well as the 2016-2017 annual report. So, I've gone and done that uh, in advance. And there we have the... Uh, uh, annual report for 2015-2016. So it's a financial year report, okay? So it's not a full calendar year, it's a financial year, so from uh, July to June. And uh, these annual reports usually come out in around November of um, of the year. So like at the moment we're doing the 2018-2019 annual report uh, and the 2018-2019 report will come out usually around the early part of uh, November, usually around sort of the cup weekend, that sort of thing. Um, so here we have the 2015-2016 annual report and 
if we scroll down, we won't go all the way down, but uh, if we get to the appendices, this is where you will find the mintages for the coins produced over that financial year. Okay, so I've um, we're in 95 to 99, those sort of pages there. I have uh, jumped ahead, and uh, I think, yes, here we are. So page 95 of the appendices, and this, this here just shows uh, the number of coins sold uh, by external parties over that time. Um, but we're not really interested in that, but we're more interested in the uh, Appendix B, which is circulating coin production for 2015-2016. So now before I talked about uh, the asterisks, which were on the, let's have a look at, say, the let's have a look at the 10 cent coins so we've got here for the 2018 year um, asterisk there so it says down the bottom of the page here partial numbers for 2018 total production to be confirmed once the 2018 2019 annual report is released so this mintage figure of 30,000 was from uh, July 2018 through to sorry sorry wrong from the first half of 2018 so from january through to uh end of june uh 2018 so 30,000 of those coins were produced in that time uh we don't know what the figure is for the july to december of 2018 um assuming that they produced more in that time that figure will then be updated and they'll put a, a whole number here like as in 14 million like they did with the 2017 and we'll know what the final mintage was for the 2018 calendar year okay so hopefully that makes sense so let's have a look at something just to give an example of that so here we've got the 2016 um 50th, uh, 50th anniversary of uh, decimal currency, so the changeover 10 cent coin, which has a full year mintage of 6.2 million. So how do we find that? Uh, we have to look at two annual reports, so the 2015-2016 and the 2016-2017, in order to get both numbers uh, to see what they've produced in those two halves of year. So let me just see where we're at. So, this is the 2015-2016. If we look at the 10 cent mintage, which was 3.8 million for the uh, second half. Uh, am I getting this right? Um, for the yeah, the second half of 20. Sorry, the first half of 2016. Okay, so 3.8 million. So the second half of the 2016 year it needs to be found on the 2017 annual report and we will skip down to that page and we'll see here another 2.4 million so what what figure do we have 2.4 and 3.8 so that should equal where are we the 6.2 million uh, that has been reported. So there's a bit of work that needs to be done to, to figure those sort of things out. Luckily, the Mint do put those uh, circulating coin mintages on on their website, and uh, we don't have to go and work those ones out. But if we ha if we take a look at the uh, let's scroll down and see if we can find some other ones, um, you'll notice here that the Mint also produces coins for other smaller nations, such as Cook Islands, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Islands Tonga, and Vanuatu. And uh, you look at those mintages, and they're tiny. Um, so these coins can be collectible as well, uh, and if you can get them. So you'll have to look at the full year figures as well for those guys. Um, but if we scroll down, you'll see here we've got collector coin production. So you can see there, uh, let's try and find something of interest. Um, most of these figures uh, should be fairly small, but 
yeah, you can go and have a look at the uh, proof sets, uh, all those sort of things, and you can check both sides of the uh, of the annual report and add those figures up, and you will get a uh, a number um, of uh, for the full for the full year. Uh, a lot of the items that the mint produces, they will say, all right, there's forty thousand of these to be produced, but they don't always produce forty thousand because um, I think that's generally the maximum that they'll produce, uh, and they don't always produce the full number. So I don't think I've got any examples of that here. Oh, yeah. Um, well, let's have a look at this here. We'd have to check uh, the 2015 reports, 2014-2015, uh, on this particular coin, the C Mint marked one. But you can see that they've set the mintage at 50,000. Uh, but they've produced 30,002. Uh, they may not have produced the full amount. Um, so there, there are things like that uh, that you'll need to look through. But spend the time, have a look at the annual reports, add the numbers up, and uh, make sure you're looking at the right item because uh, it does get a bit confusing. So, yeah, I think that's about all that I wanted to share with you today in relation to mintages. But there's a lot of information to be found in the annual reports. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a great source of uh, information. And it's just a good way of knowing whether or not uh, it's something that you want to invest in or whether it's just going to be something that will probably uh, not go up in value. But if you like it, you like it, just buy it anyway. So, yeah, have a look at them. Check out the website and go through it and get yourself... Uh, uh, familiar with uh, all the information that can be found on the uh, website there is also the uh, the the mint shop as well which can be found here um, which you can uh, create a login and sign up for and uh, have a look at all the new release coins all right guys that's it for today but uh, I've enjoyed bringing this video to you and I uh, look forward to bringing more to you too soon if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you've subscribed, hit the bell, and that you'll be notified each and every time that uh, I put a video out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have another video for you soon.